Hi everybody, Casually Avid Gamer here, and welcome to the Minecraft Mini number 5. Now, we never have much time in these things, so we need to get going on it. Today, I thought what I thought we'd do is do something a little fancier with this beacon. Um, you know, my, my friends on the server, they, they got me this beacon and that beacon over there as kind of a, a get well soon gift, and now it's time to make it look pretty awesome. So first I need to uninstall it and then we can start making it awesome. To operate at their full efficacy, uh, those beacons have to be built atop a pillar of precious blocks. Iron, uh, blocks of iron, blocks of gold, blocks of diamond or blocks of emerald. That's awfully expensive. Uh, we're going to go with iron because we've got the, the iron golem farms and so it's our most plentiful reef source. Now, it, it has to be, the beacon has to be on top of a pyramid. So it's got to be the beacon and then under it a 3x3 three three level, under that a 5x5, five five, under that 7x7, seven seven, and then 9x9 nine nine to operate at full strength, which is kind of what I want. And I just did the math on that. That is 164 iron blocks. And if you break those iron blocks down into their individual iron pieces, that's almost 1,500 pieces of iron. Now, if we go in there, I mean, we got it. You know, it's going to take up most of our iron blocks, but that's okay. It's what we've got the farm for. But that is a lot of resources. That's nearly 500 iron picks. So that's a ton of resources. Uh, but you know what? Uh, I want to do it, and we can always get more iron. I don't really want to have that nine or yeah that nine by nine pyramid of iron blocks just kind of sitting in the middle of this open plains area. I, I right here this pillar is kind of where I've got planned out to be where the beacon shines from, mostly because it lines directly up with the center of the entrance to our base, so I get to see it every time I come out. Uh, but like I said, I don't uh, the my idea for making it look awesome does not include a 9 by 9 pillar. So we are actually going to bury the majority of that pyramid underground. Time to get this beacon fired up. Because if I don't activate it now, I'll forget to do it when the next I have chance. So we'll place it. Looks good. I actually like the base beacon color. And since this is going to actually be part of a fountain... I think that's a, a pretty good color to have with it. Let's look there. We have access to everything. So we want, I think, strength. And you know what? Let's do strength too. Just, that's what I want going while we're in here. And then we got to put in an iron ingot. Ingot, hit check, and it's on. Now you see we've got, whenever we're in range of this beacon, we'll have strength too. That way if uh, bad guys are wandering around here. Because I've got a lot of this lit up. But, you know, not the top of the mountain, not, you know, the surrounding area. So I fight monsters here sometimes. So we've got the water feature portion of our fountain in. And this little, I think this is andesite. Yes, this is andesite. Uh, this polished andesite that's around it right now isn't going to be the final product. Uh, that's just there to keep the water under control while I got the actual fountain itself figured out. But this is what we got, and it's a pretty neat little water feature. Um, and now we got to, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do around it. Okay, so he's just hanging out in my base. Uh oh, got him. Okay, so yeah, uh, strength two really works. I've come to the conclusion that this fountain is definitely going to need some kind of low wall around it, but we're not going to be able to get to that during this Minecraft mini, because if we did get to it, it would stop being a mini and start being a, a, a just a Minecraft episode, which, you know, is going to be kind of crazy because it's supposed to be a mini. But anyway, we're going to add one last touch. I don't know how this is going to work or how it's going to look, but uh, we're going to give it a shot. Let me put the rest in and we'll take a look. 
So I gotta admit, the giant spruces didn't quite turn out the way I was hoping them to. Even if they'd all come out fairly uniform, I actually, looking at them, think that the giant spruce is just too silly looking of a tree. We're not going to be able to get them uh, taken out and put something else in uh, by the end of this episode, so we're probably going to wrap it up here. I do really like... Oops, sorry. I do really like how our fountain kind of turned out. I like the beacon light coming up directly through the middle of the fountain. I, I like the the use of the andesite and the granite. You know, I like all that. Like I said, uh, I'm going to put in a wall around it at some point. Again, not today because we are running really short on time. But I think this is a great little start uh, and will hopefully segue into making a whole lot more improvements out here in this kind of main area that I run through every day and haven't really done much with. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, please subscribe. You know, what, whatever you want to do, that would be great. It's been a lot of fun and I will talk to you guys next week.